So last thing I want to ask you today brings the black hole war, some of the things we've been talking about into the present. I just interviewed your colleague, Rafael Busso, who I know is one of your students. And he was not one of my students, one of my postdocs here. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he a, was a student of Stevens, Hawking's. Okay. It, interesting. I assume that if somebody's your postdoc, they're your student, but well, I guess not. in some not. sense, I in suppose. In some sense, okay. But, uh, but uh, you know, the young people I've worked with, I've learned as much from them as they did from me. But he's very much working on holography. And I know that many, many physicists are. It is extremely right. vital and robust today. Yeah. Yes, that's And right. what I wanted to ask you about is what the state is both of holography and M-theory today as oh. you see them. Well, what is M-theory? Yeah. <laughs> um, M theory is a particular example of one of the many possible uh, things that string theory can do. It can, M theory is some limit of some particular string theory in which it goes and becomes an 11 dimensional gravitational theory. It's not thought to be the theory of the world. It's not anymore? Well, I mean, I, I thought think it, it once ever was. Oh, anymore. really? Okay. Well, it's not 11 dimensional. Uh, I, I'm not sure where this idea that M theory was. Uh, was uh, there's just a whole bunch of different corners of the parameter space, uh, which describe different kinds of let's call them universes that, uh, and they have different dimensionality. They have different properties. And M theory, I think, was originally intended to be some corner where the physics was flat, eleven uh, was eleven dimensional physics. Um, why that was seen as somehow uh, um, a better th theory of everything than any of the other corners, it was not a good theory of the real world. The real world is just not 11 dimensional. Um, one thing that did happen with what is called M theory is it was the first example in which there was a complete quantum description, holographic quantum description uh, of that particular theory, or that particular, um, and uh, that was this BFSS matrix model, which, but it, there was nothing particularly, uh, um, what shall I say, nothing, It was not a theory of the real world. Neither was anti dissident space. Right. It, uh, it was just one corner of the of the parameter space. Yeah, my my impression was that it was believed that all of the different string theories, type one, two, eight, two, these were all limits of M theory, and yeah, M but limit, theory was M theory the, was also a limit of them. Uh, they could all be represented as what we would call compactifications of this 11-dimensional theory. And that's true, but the 11-dimensional theory itself can just be thought of as a limit of any one of these in some unusual range of parameters. So uh, I don't see anything more fundamental about it than any of the others. Mm -hmm.